Mm. You're not supposed to do that, right? No. I measure dough. I make bread sometimes. I'm a bread maker. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make a dough. You always want to put the water in first, then the yeast, then the flour. And how often are you guys making dough? Like on Fridays or Saturdays, we make sure we have two extra doughs on hand. Yeah. But on slow days, we'll always usually have one extra dough on hand. All right. I got a bag of flour. Oh, you already have it weighed out. Yes. That so is one bag. Oh, hell no. You don't add any salt or anything, or, or it's all in the bag? Everything is either in the bag or in the yeast and water. So in four minutes, we'll have dough. Cool, so this is like the proprietary concoction of flour and goodness. Whoa, my blood, whoa. So whenever you're cutting a pretzel, you would want to make sure it's the width of the handle and the size of the pizza cutter. So about this long and about this wide. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that's nice, that's a nice piece. See, I got a nice piece. You got a nice piece. And while you have both ends, you just start snapping it. You wouldn't want it to roll it out just like this, because if you roll it out, you're going to let all the air out of the pretzel dough. Roll, roll, roll tap, <laughs> roll. Roll it till it's even. Rolling, tap, tap, tap. Do that, I'm snapping a jewel. Oh. Look at me tap, is that good? Yes. Did, what did now, I do since wrong? it's a little bit thicker over here, I would set your hand right here and start snapping this end because it's a little bit thicker. And after it's of length, you want to grab both ends, point your fingers towards the table, and make a circular motion with this hand until you see one small spin, and that's your pretzel. Ah, uh, okay, yep. Hold it still and then do like a whippy thing. Try to put your hands a little bit closer together. <laughs> Couldn't you just do this? Yes, but that corporate would not, they don't approve of that. Or there's another method where you okay. can just flick your wrist and just flip. You just okay. have a small flick of the wrist. Okay. So if, as long as you don't think about it, it's not that hard. You know what, you should do those pretzel sticks. You know the ones where you don't have to spin it? Dude, look at that, that's so good. It is, it is a nice beginner pretzel. Don't judge me. I'll give you a solid 2.5 out of 10. Thanks. All right, there you go. That's a very nice first pretzel. He's like, thanks, mom. <laughs> when I usually get my Annie Ann's, I'm like, what's taking so long? Now I realize that this is a lot harder than it looks. What's in there, like baking soda this and water? Is sodium bicarbonate or baking soda with hot water, though. Yeah. And, oh, and then I lift up by the feet, and yeah. then I go, uh, yeah, look at that. After that, we would dip the pretzels, let them sit in the dip station for about 10 to 15 seconds so that all the bicarbonate can drip off. The sodium bicarbonate and the hot water gives it that golden color. This is my very pretty one. She's got character. It's got to make it look a little bit better. I want to make it look good like Julia's. I'm going to make this one a salted, this one a cinnamon, and this one's going to be the one that hasn't been dipped. You would always want to make sure you cover the other pretzels with your hands so you don't get any salt on them. Oh, snap. That's that that's turbo oven thing. Let me show you guys how to make some nuggets real quick. Okay. Nuggets? Nuggets. But you don't got chicken here. We don't have chicken. So does everyone that works here have to make pretzels? Yes, everybody has to know how to make a pretzel before they get on the register. But I think I can make the nuggets, no problem. Yeah, the nuggets are very, very easy. So what JP is doing here, this is called pre-cutting. So that's a very helpful method. He's pre-cutting, so that's very, very fast. No, fast. My method in order to dip them very quickly and efficiently, so I'm gonna grab one here, one here, and I'm able to dip 10 at a time. Then you would set up your nuggets and just try to make sure you space them out evenly. Nicely spaced, JP, good job. And just make sure they're all very small nuggets. So you cut them and then you bake them. Wow. Oop, let me check it. Ooh, golden. What time is the oven set to? Like 600 degrees Fahrenheit. 600 degrees, that's the magic. Dude. Flip the tray. The salted pretzel just gets the face buttered, set it up to drip. The cinnamon pretzel would get the whole pretzel buttered, and then you would set it up to drip. You want to make sure all the cinnamon sugar is covering the pretzel, and then just put the pretzel in. This would be all set. And this one, this is as good as it's going to get. It's very white. It wasn't dipped, so it's not going to taste very good. Yup. That bread sack, you know? You need some marinara sauce. That's what it needs. Let's eat some real Annie Ann's pretzels. Oh, this is the one that I made. You see that? Yeah, yeah. A, little nip, a, little... a little nip there. Yeah, let's try it. You know, when you fold it, it looks way worse. After they bake, they kind of look, they look good again. The dough just fixes itself when it goes in the oven. These pretzels are addicting. For some reason, I thought they were like deep fried because they taste so good. You're 22 and you've been working here for so freaking long. Yes. You've been doing it though, you love it. Come on, we gotta go back to work. What are you doing? I believe in you. It doesn't really look good. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. And then we go into the dip. I actually little wasn't paying attention. A little to more this force. Part. Don't be scared of the okay. cheese. It's not gonna yeah. hurt you. Okay. You gotta make sure you get the cheese all over that pretzel. Yeah. And then boom, that looks pretty good. 
And then every single pepperoni pizza pretzel gets nine pepperonis. They just kind of float on there. You're supposed to pinch them. Oh, is that what you're supposed to do? There you go. Actually, that was more successful than the other ones. Wow, you destroyed the pretzel. One on each foot and then two on each side. You're fired. Ooh, very nice. And just butter the whole pepperoni pretzel. Oh my God, that's why it's so good. And after they're all set, you guys can go ahead and enjoy those. Go ahead and give them a try. Oh no, I pulled two. Oh no, I pulled four. Here she is. There she is. One, two, three, cut it, roll it out. Very nice, very nice. She's tight, right? Great. You gotta go fast with this stuff. You so. have to go very fast, yes. Uh, occasionally we get mini dog orders, which are 50 mini dogs in a bucket. So imagine having to roll 50 of these out really quickly. Well, I heard that you're the fastest person out there. I am one of the fastest. Whoa, okay, there's something happening here. And I, it's not the same thing that I would do. I mean, yours look better than mine too. Tighter. We like a tight mini dog. Can I help who's ever... <laughs> Can I help who else is next in line? Oh, wow, and you have draft beer here? We haven't even beers. gotten over here. So everything in the case is set for 30 minute increments. After 30 minutes, you would have to remake everything to make sure everything's fresh. So, that way the employees know at 720, they would have to make a whole new case. Here's your lemonade, sir, and a straw. Mango daiquiri with tequila. I put a little extra shot in there. It comes out quickly though, so. Ooh. Can help whoever is next in line here we're here. Cheese dip. All right, you're gonna go ahead and tell Miss Total. We do have two for six bottle beers. Can I see your ID if you wouldn't mind? Yeah, I got you. Appreciate it. Two drinks, so come back at two more, you get a free one. Yes, ma'am. Is that right? right. Good. Yep. And then yep. The green button. Doing great. You have a great time. Oh, wait, get your credit card. And you still got your card, boss. <laughs> so, what I'm thinking is it would be really cool to make something a little bit different, like a braided pretzel. What do you think? She's cute. Just like that. Very nice, very nice. I was going to do something a little different here. I wanted to add some little linky dinks to my dog log. So we're going to do a, a reverse fold, kind of like a tie. What are you making? Probably trimming off like right there. All right. So that one, since it is big dogs and mini dogs, we would have to put that one on the meat tray. Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> what are you doing? Very nice, very nice. Ready? We're going in. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Your little wiener came out. Yeah, blast off into the cheese dip. Ooh. Nice and wide. Mm. Oh, good job. You guys are all set. Nice job, guys. We did it. All in a day's work. So these are your Annie Ann's like pigtails, right? Like if Annie Ann had pigtails like a Wendy. Wait, is it like this? Or like a Pinkie uh, Long stocking? You're not Frankenstein. <laughs> Are you eating your own braid? Yum! What do you guys think? I think that's actually pretty cool. It's pretty good. You can see the halo, and now you can officially eat the halo. All right, let me know when you're ready. Go! Your minute starts now. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> 